Pro Group Management. Workers' Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good evening, I'm James Schaefer. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. And top story sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Earlier today, President Biden delivered remarks at UNLV's College of Hospitality addressing his concerns about high prescription drug prices and how he hopes to lower them. But after decades of trying to take on Big Pharma, we finally, finally won. Now, instead of paying whatever the drug company wants to charge you, Medicare, Medicare will be able to negotiate prices. Medicare provides... President Biden was initially expected to come to Nevada to designate the new Nevada National Monument of Equimay. Supporters said they were disappointed with the lack of a visit from the president, but hope the designation still comes for the site. And a Las Vegas judge delayed a decision on whether to recuse himself once again from overseeing former Raiders player Henry Ruggs' fatal DUI case. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer explains. Defense attorneys asked Justice of the Peace Joe Bonaventure to further explain why he previously withdrew from presiding over the case. But the judge said he didn't believe that rules of judicial conduct required him to explain himself. Bonaventure said he would review prior case law and set another hearing for March 22nd. The issue here is whether I have a requirement to make a record on why I disqualified, Bonaventure said. The record I made, I believe, at the time last court date was sufficient. The case has bounced between different judges in Las Vegas Justice Court in recent weeks after challenges from defense attorneys. The shuffling began with defense attorneys arguing that Ruggs was being singled out when Justice of the Peace Ann Zimmerman moved to continue overseeing the case in January. The case had been scheduled for the DUI specialty court where Bonaventure was reassigned. On February 21st, Bonaventure recused himself because of comments he made about the case while running for office last year. On Monday, District Judge Jennifer Swartz moved the case back to Bonaventure's courtroom for a follow-up hearing. A new bill would give the Southern Nevada Water Authority the ability to limit residential water use in single-family homes. Water use would be limited to about 163,000 gallons annually during times when a water shortage along the Colorado River has been declared. Bill 220 would also set up a program to eventually convert thousands of homes with septic systems into the region's municipal sewer system. This ensures more water can be recycled and sent back to Lake Mead rather than being lost in the ground. In business news sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority Board of Directors on Tuesday unanimously approved the sale of 10 acres of strip front land for $125 million. Developers Brett Torino of Las Vegas and New York's Paul Canavos are purchasing the parcel just south of the Fountain Blue Las Vegas. LVCBA President and CEO Steve Hill said after the meeting that the developers are considering a retail and entertainment complex and possibly a non-gaming hotel on the site. And the construction industry was out in full force on the first day of the Con Expo Con Tuesday with attendees saying this year's show is a big shift from the 2020 event, which happened just before the pandemic. On Tuesday morning, the convention center was filled with massive construction equipment, such as those meant for crushing rocks or dewatering sand. And despite the rainy conditions, exhibitors and attendees were in high spirits. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Vegas saw some midday showers earlier this afternoon. The rain is gone, but it is still a cloudy night. Temps in the 50s dipping into the high 40s overnight. For the rest of the week, however, temps will be in the low 60s. Sunny skies tomorrow, however, the clouds will return over the weekend. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Only one member of the Raiders 2019 first round draft class remains after it was announced that the San Francisco 49ers reached an agreement to a one year deal with defensive end Cleland Farrell. Once the number four overall pick, Farrell's fifth year option was declined by the new Raiders regime. In his four seasons with the Silver and Black, Farrell appeared in 58 games with 30 starts and totaled 105 tackles, 32 quarterback hits, 10 sacks, and 15 tackles for loss. In health sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. 
Cutting back on salt is one of the best ways to lower your risk of heart disease. It's the sodium chloride in salt that can be bad for your heart, but people often turn to salt substitutes as a healthy alternative. They don't have sodium chloride, but they have potassium chloride. So for people that are trying to not eat too much potassium, they have to be careful with that. Some substitutes can affect those with kidney, heart, and liver disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes. So before turning to a salt substitute, check with your healthcare team. In sports, fans who will be attending Thursday's Golden Knights game just got a whole lot luckier as Pink Box Donuts plans to give away a $5 gift card to every attendee at T-Mobile Arena. The official donut partner of the VGK will give away $5 gift cards to an estimated 18,000 attendees at each entrance of T-Mobile Arena until game time. Fans can use the gift card to purchase one of five specialty hockey-inspired donuts. Puck drop for the Golden Knights matchup versus Calgary is set for Thursday at 7 p.m. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. It's March Madness and the first round of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament starts Thursday. San Diego State, one of two Mountain West teams in action, is a five-point favorite over Charleston at the Westgate Superbook and the total is 141 and a half. Also, Boise State is a one and a half point underdog against Northwestern, and that total is 127 and a half. In Entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Looking for some of the finest Irish and Scotch whiskeys to try on the strip? Well, Re Raw Irish Pub in the shops at the Mandalay Bay could be your next favorite spot. But if you're looking for affordable prices, this may not be the place for you. Age, quality, and scarcity contribute to the high prices ranging from $160 to $800 for 1.5 ounces. And for the first time in five years, four-time Grammy Award-winning rapper Drake is embarking on a U.S. tour, and he's bringing his It's All a Blur tour to T-Mobile Arena at 7 p.m. on September 1st. General tickets go on sale Friday, March 17th at AXS.com. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.